dear listener welcome to my channel topic of this video is introduction to parser this is the second video on this topic in this video i am going to explain how to model constituency using cfg and cnf and top down and bottom approaches for parser now let us start in my last video i have already explained what is mean by word and word groups because that is the role of parser to find out the syntactic relationship between the different word groups so words are nothing but individual words in a sentence each playing a specific grammatical role and these are nothing but the categories of words next is a word group which is very important and it is also called as constituency it is nothing but cluster of words that function together as a single unit within a sentence so different phrases are there like noun phrase the noun phrase have a particular combination for example it can it may have the determiner then uh, adverb after that adjective and the noun even it may start with the proper noun also so variety types of ways in which noun phrases are present and which is represented in the form of rule so similarly verb phrase prepositional phrase adjective phrase adverb and conjunction phrase so role of parser is to find out first this constituency whether it is present in language or not and whether it is according to rule of the language or not if yes then accept otherwise reject that so that is nothing but the modeling constituency modeling constituency in nlp parsing involves representing the hierarchical structure of sentence by identifying and labeling their constituent parts such as noun phrase and verb phrase etc this process aims to break down sentence into nested phrases and construct the parse trees that depict their syntactic relationship it is very much essential for various nlp tasks like syntactic analysis information extraction machine translation it enables machine to understand grammatical structure of sentence facilitate the accurate interpretation and generation of natural language they are using the parsing algorithms like top down bottom up statistical to generate the parse trees it helps in semantic analysis and the other application like name entity recognition and syntactic ambi ambiguity resolution now the important is how to arrange the word in a certain groups and how to find automatically word arrangements when new sentence is given for example see the two languages one is english and second is language marathi now in english language this is the correct statement that is i play cricket so here cricket is noun it comes last and the play verb is in between now i cricket play is a incorrect statement but this is exactly opposite in marathi language so in marathi language the correct statement is me cricket kheto that is whatever that uh, verb is coming in the last so that's why according to different languages having different rules and we require to take into that consideration when we want to find out the syntactic relationship between the words and word groups now modeling constituency now for example the man read this book this is a statement internally it will treated as for example the is determiner nominal that is noun man these are nothing but the hierarchies when we solve the problems you will come to know now verb is read then this this book the this is determiner and book is noun now determiner and noun becomes np phrase before np if verb present it becomes entirely vp phrase and np vp becomes the start of the that is they combine and we can generate the statement and that statement is correct so in this way our aim is that this particular statement is given and we just require to find out it belongs to which category and we require to check whether they are reach to the final start symbol or not so either we can use top down approach or bottom up approach but in any way we have that s we can start with the s and check whether all below is okay otherwise we start at the bottom and we will check that whether we reach to the s or not what is a formal tool to model this constituency that is how the words arrange together which words come together which has do not come together what group makes a sentence and what group make a verb phrase and what group make a noun phrase etc the solution is context free grammar now context free grammar is a most common approach for modeling the constituency involves using production rules these rules specify how the symbols of language can be grouped and arranged for example a noun phrase can consist of either a proper noun or determiner followed by nominal where nominal can include a multiple nouns so these are the different tools in which we are recognizing this word group 
for example noun phrase it is determinal or nominal or it is a proper noun or it is a noun for example if multiple nouns are there noun that in this way that is by using the context free grammar we are defining the noun phrase in this way so whenever a book is come so a book a is going to the determiner and after that book is going to the nominal which is nothing but noun so it is recognized even the book is also recognized so we are writing the rules using the context free grammar cfg provides rules that explain how to create grammatical correct sentence statement in that language context free grammar is defined by the tuple t and s r this has four parts terminal symbol these are the basic building blocks of the language like words or punctuation mark or our statement which we want to parse non terminal symbol these are the categories of words or phrases like noun phrases or different types of phrases they don't represent actual words but they are the categories of word that is nothing but word group start symbol this is a starting point for any sentence it triggers the creation of grammatically correct sentence production rule these rules rewrite non terminal symbols into other symbols it may be terminal or non terminal to generate a sentence but at last it should be converted to the non terminal now see this example grammar is represented by tnsr so terminal so these are nothing but the words that we are using in our english language then this is non terminal so these are nothing but the different phrases and in between the different parts of the language now this s is the start symbol and this is nothing but the rule so in which way we de define a rule in such way that by this rule and we try to write down the unambiguous grammar so that uh, it will not produce the or it will not pass the ambiguous statement but to writing a unambiguous grammar is a hard np hard task so we just try to make efforts that it should not generate the ambiguity in the sentence now this is the way and in which we are writing these rules and whatever the statement is given that statement should be uh, stick to this particular grammar rule then only we can accept that sentence cfj and grammaticality grammaticality grammatical sentence sentence within this set are considered grammatical they adhere to the rules of specified by the cfg sentence outside this are deemed ungrammatical they do not conform to the cfg production rule now see this example so these are the terminal these are non terminal and this is a start symbol and these are the different production rule now the sentence is given john saw the man now we are not going for any particular average but we are just trying to understand for the simple example now the starting gr grammar is npvp that is it should start with the noun phrase or it after that it should start with the verb phrase now this np np now the, we can see that john so john is a proper noun so np goes to the proper noun and proper noun goes to the john so it will end to the terminal now next is the vp in vp verb phrase is there now we can see that saw the man so verb is there after that did, that is this is again noun phrase so verb and np so verb goes to the saw it will go to the terminal then np is determiner noun that is nothing but the and man so here determiner goes to the the so that is end to the terminal and this noun is end to the nominal nominal to the noun that is a man so you can see that when the rule it uh, reaches to the end at that time it is converted to the terminal symbol so in this way this particular statement is recognize and to recognize this particular sentence we are using such production rule step by step now see this another example so grammar is given and this is nothing but non terminal and this is nothing but the terminal symbol so when the statements are generated from this lexicon we can use this grammar to parse the statement now see this is another example so this grammar is given after that a uh, sentence is given the man read this book so we can go but this is not the proper way to do this so we are using particular approaches to parse the statement so for a given sentence we try try to find out the parse tree with the help of grammar parse tree is not unique 
multiple parts tree can be exist for a given sentence what is a parsing the process of taking a string and grammar and returning all possible parts trees for that string so top down and bottom up two approaches are there top down are goal oriented and bottom up are data oriented now we will see the top down parsing top down parsing starts with the start root node a start root node s and builds down to the leaves assuming the input can be derived from the start symbol s so we make the initial tree that is identify all the trees that can start with s by checking the grammar rule with s on the left hand side now we check a particular or a correct initial node and after that we start the growth trees expand the trees downward using these rules until they reach the part of speech categories at the bottom last is a match input reject the trees who leave do not match the input words this method searches for past tree by starting at the top and expanding downward verifying against the input at each step so example are early parser and predictive parsing now see the statement book that flight now book that flight is a verb because it start with the verb because book can be noun and book can be verb but if we start with the noun rules it will not trace the entire statement so this is the way in which it will traverse the path that is verb and np this is determine nominal noun and flight now variety types of rules are given so it will start with first s np vp then np is it will determine a noun but the word start with the book so here it will not match so it will try this it will not match it will so it will try all the rules given from which starts at the start symbol now here s to vp vp to verb now vp to verb what will the problem it will only identify book but not the other so we require to take the verb that is s to vp and vp is going to verb to vp so we require to take this particular rule so if we follow this rule for a minute if we follow if we take this rule this will lead to the stop but we have first verb and after that noun phrases here so best way is that to select this last rule and if we select this rule or this rule it will not reach to the final path so that's why we are using the different techniques uh, in which we can move from start symbol to the end in a efficient way so this is not allowed this is not allowed and this is allowed like we will reach only up to the book not the entire sentence so all the rules are tried in sequential manner from start to end but this is not the efficient method therefore there is a need of parser which will efficiently parse a given statement by constructing the efficient parse tree if sentence is grammatically incorrect it should discard that statement now when if for a single symbol if we are trying this multiple parts then at that time the process is not efficient that's why we are using the particular type of parser which follow the rules in a efficient way now next is bottom up parsing bottom up parsing is exactly opposite way the parser start with the input words and builds a tree upward start with the words begin with the words of the input apply the rules and convert that words into the word groups it will fit the rules look for the places in current parser tree where the right hand side of the rule can fit this method construct the parser tree from the bottom up using the input words grammar rules to build up the start symbol so here also again that the same like top down it will try with the variety types of way for example book noun to nominal then that that is not convert into the noun because the one rule is there nominal nominal to noun so this will not work so in this way it will try variety types of rule and it will goes to the final correct step so trying different paths is not the efficient way so better way is to use a efficient algorithm and go from bottom to the top of the tree so this is explained in ad hoc manner but this is not the way we are following when we are parsing the particular sentence so if we follow this ad hoc approach then what is the problem uh, wastage of space is there as multiple rules are generated to generate a given word in a sentence 
बॉटम ऑफ पार्सर सी वाई के और सी के वाई पार्सर इट वर्क्स ऑन सी एन एफ दैट इज चॉम्स के नॉर्मल फॉर्म ग्रामर ओनली इट ऑल्सो जनरेट द मल्टीपल ट्रीज वेन द स्टेटमेंट इज एम्बिक्यूस शिफ्ट टू डिस्पार्सर इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर टू बी ग्रामर इन सी एन एफ फॉर्म बट देर इज नीड टू हैंडल द बैक ट्रैक एंड द लास्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज प्रोबेबलिस्टिक कॉन्टेक्स टू ग्रामर सो इवन इफ मल्टीपल पार्स ट्रीज गेट जनरेटेड इट विल गिव द पर्टिकुलर प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट दिस ट्री हैज दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोबेबिलिटी सो इट इज बेटर फॉर सिलेक्शन ऑफ द फाइनल पार्स ट्री चॉम्स के नॉर्मल फॉर्म सो इफ यू आर फैमिलियर विद द थेरी ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस देन यू आर वेल नोन वॉट इज मीन बाई चॉम्स के नॉर्मल फॉर्म बट इफ नॉट देन इट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज वॉट एवर द एग्जाम्पल्स आर कवर्ड सो एंड इवन गिवन इन एग्जाम द ग्रामर इज ऑलरेडी इन चॉम्स के नॉर्मल फॉर्म इफ द ग्रामर रफ ग्रामर इज गिवन एंड इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट द चॉम्स के नॉर्मल फॉर्म वी रिक्वायर टू फॉलो द वराइटी टाइप्स ऑफ रूल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इलिमिनेट द नल प्रोडक्शन इलिमिनेट द यूनिट प्रोडक्शन एंड कन्वर्ट द ग्रामर इन टू द पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मैट सो वॉट इज चॉम्स के नॉर्मल फॉर्म इट पुट सम कंस्टेंट ऑन द ग्रामर वाइल प्रिजर्विंग द सेम लैंग्वेज द बेनिफिट इज दैट वेन वी कैन द वी कैन अवॉइड नॉट कंप्लीटली द एम्बिगटिव प्रॉब्लम ड्यूरिंग द पार्सिंग चॉम्स के नॉर्मल फॉर्म इज अ सिंप्लीफाइड ऑफ कंटेक्सट के ग्रामर यूज इन एन एल पी पार्सर इन सी एन एफ दिस इज ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर अदर थिंग्स आर नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट सो इन सी एन एफ द रूल इज आई दर फॉर्म ए गो इन टू द बी सी वेर ए एंड बी आर द नॉन टर्मिनल्स और ए इज इक्वल टू ए सो इट विल प्रोड्यूस ओनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ रूल आईदर ए विल गोज टू द टर्मिनल और ए गोज टू द नॉन नॉन टर्मिनल बट ओनली टू नॉन टर्मिनल इट विल नॉट गो टू द ए गोज टू द बी सी डी इट विल गो एट मोस्ट टू नॉन टर्मिनल और इफ टर्मिनल इन ओनली वन नॉन टर्मिनल सो दिस इज ओनली द कॉन्टेक्सट फ्री ग्रामर द नॉर्म दिस नॉर्मलाइजेशन फैसिलिटेट द पार्सिंग अलगुदम सच एस सी वाई के बाय प्रोवाइडिंग अ यूनिफॉर्म रूल स्ट्रक्चर कन्वर्टिंग ग्रामर टू सी एन एफ हेल्प्स इन सिंटेक्टिकली ब्रेकिंग डाउन द सेंटेंस इन द पार्स ट्री मेकिंग इजियर टू इम्प्लीमेंट एंड ऑप्टिमाइज द पार्स टेक्निक सो कन्वर्ट द गिवन ग्रामर इन टू सी एन एफ फॉर्म इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गिव अ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन एंड एज वेल एज फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द अलगोदम्स द इट टेक्स द इनपुट इन सी एन एफ फॉर्म दिज आर द रेफरेंसेज फॉर दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द टाइप्स ऑफ बॉटम अप एंड टॉप डाउन पार्सर इन डिटेल थैंक यू